The greatest prison that people live in is the fear of what other people think. The ADL says the It's OK to be White campaign goes back two years, and it's a matter that must be addressed. So not commenting sends the wrong message. It's important for people not to be persuaded or attracted to a message like this, because behind the words is bigotry. Behind the words is hate. War, 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 hot and cold running war, just give us more war. Did, did, did we tell you how much we love war? This is a sick, 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 sick group of people who say they have the moral high ground and everybody else is a Nazi. What if the American people learn the truth? That our foreign policy has nothing to do with national security. That it never changes from one administration to the next. What if war and preparation for war is a racket serving the special interests? Shouting, it's a group of demonstrators who've come. 9-11 uh, was an inside job. Oh, get a life. Get a life. 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> when I was a punk rocker, <laughs> when I was a punk rocker, by the way. There's six million. <laughs> there were six million of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was six billion. <laughs> Just begun. Time to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy. <laughs> Can't have certain thoughts. Oh, man. What the fuck's good? <clears throat> yeah, dude. I'm reading a book. It's pretty sweet. What is it? We, we're ripping, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm trying to figure out why I'm so dumb. Uh. <laughs> and there's this book called Dumbing Us Down about how, like, this we're... They purposely are trying to make us dumb. We're supposed to be way smarter. What do you mean? Like how? Like, dude, the school system that was developed. Well, first of all, you know, I started looking into some things. Yeah. And I'm going, man, that's kind of World War Two is just crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, great people on both sides. <laughs> Some bad, some good, great people on both sides. Oh, dude, I'm on so many mushrooms. You can't do that to me. Um, right. Yeah, so I was like, man, that's so crazy. How does a country become a police state? And it's because of the German word, school. What's that mean? They invented school, dude. Oh, They're really? the bad they guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, that is one trillion percent made people absolutely the Prussian, Dude, the Prussian school system... Dude, they pushed hard for it in America, too. What they invented it? school, and that's what happened, dude. Before that... Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're back to recording. Something happened. Someone hacked us, popped some shit up. We can it figure it out. shut down. Yeah, so school... They're, the they're Prussians, afraid of about what I'm about to... <laughs> Prussian school... They're trying to DDoS us right now. Yeah. The Prussian school system, go on. Yeah, so there was no school before this. You just chill with your mama. And she would teach you whatever you needed to know. Yeah. And you would see dudes and you'd be like, oh, man, I really want to be like a dude yeah. growing up one day. And, like, you would learn all this stuff from family. So it would be family first. Yeah. And then network and community and then nation. Okay. But the Prussians, well, they would become the Germans. Yeah. For the Prussians right now. They were like, dude, we can make school. We'll make we'll make learning way efficient. Just yeah. send us all your kids. Yeah. And you basically make a deal where, like, you put your kids up for adoption. You give them away to the school system. Yeah. Hoping that they're going to fill their heads with all the good stuff. Yeah. And it changed. So what I got into is the Grimm's fairy tale. But that happened before all this. That was the whole knowledge was passed through, like, tales and stories. Yeah. And then these guys invented school, and it all turned to shit, dude. And they gave it to Americans, too. Yeah. Why are you laughing at me, man? I'm, I'm trying to explain this. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what I'm trying to say is, we don't need school. It made us dumb. Yeah. That's it. That's all, all you need right, to know, dude. Right. It's a three-hour audio book. Check it out. It's called Dumbing Us Down. 
And it's all from, I mean, a lot of the shit people learn in school is mental retardation. Oh, yeah, but it starts at a young age, dude. Like, the whole thing of, like, you know, I'm sure everybody listening knows that the Rockefellers paid for all this schooling oh, because yeah. they wanted us to be factory workers. They wanted to mold us. And Frederick Gates, uh, no relation to Bill, just kind of a weird coincidence, yeah. he ran it, and he he was, like, in control of making the rural farm people. They're like, oh, they're dumb as fuck. Yeah. Like, we'll teach them whatever. Yeah. When in reality, like, you will become smarter. The elites don't send their kids to these schools. The elites send their kids to schools where they learn how to, like, ride horses and make them jump over things. Yeah, well, you said the one person went to school and they couldn't major. They made up their major. Oh, I dated a girl who was an elite. Her dad was the VP of, um, I, don't, I shouldn't say that. Not anyway, <laughs> um, her brother went to a college where he, like, was going to, he majored in, like, taking people up mountains. Like, that's a major. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, uh, calling, uh, he yeah. was, like, a guide. Yeah. But that anyway. Makes no sense. Like, oh, dude, what am I trying to say? Yeah. The education system's bullshit. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. What I was going to say was uh, the elites don't don't send their kids to these schools. Yeah. In their school, they're like, do whatever they want. They give the kids privacy. The kids go on, like, learning adventures and shit. Whereas, like, we just get hammered. We get indoctrinated. We get yeah. brainwashed. Give me the fucking Spanish word for gymnasio, dude. That's all I would learn. <laughs> yeah, but this shit, the, the bigger picture that I got into, like, you know, I'm, I'm a dot connector, so I'm, like, getting into the Grimm's fairy tales, and that was, like, those guys wanted to give the, that was, like, peasant folk tales. Yeah. And they wanted them to be unadulterated. And then they re-released them recently, like, the Freshies. Yeah. So they started in, like, the 1814s, and then by the 1850s, that's the ones that we know. Like Hansel and Gretel and shit? Is yeah, that what you're talking I don't know if they're in it, but they might be in it. But, you know, Frog Prince and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the original Grimm's fairy tales are fucked up. And I was like, I was listening to him yesterday. I was like, dude, if you ever watched Midsummer? No, you Like A24 movies? No. Like The Vich. You see nah. The Vich? God damn it, dude. Spooky, dude. I don't fuck with the spooky. But anyway, <laughs> it's like, yeah. So these guys make killer movies. If they did Grimm's fairy tales, it would be the shit really but anyway these tales are very very old they were very old by the 1800s and these guys were like we have to document this before it goes away because the prussians were unleashing the school system on people yeah and they knew like you know this kind of knowledge was going to be lost it was all going to be well what's the point of them ma like making it like why did they want to get rid of the grimm's fairy tales they kept trying to get them to be more like accessible to richer people so they wanted to take the scary stuff out of it why because scary rich people don't like spooky stuff i don't know man maybe I mean, i'm an elite <laughs> yeah you might be an elite yeah like uh it's crazy the early fairy tales are way different and that's like all this stuff together to me like later on disney gets their hands on these things yeah and the the point of my story with all this is Grimm's fairy tales wizard of oz all this weird shit it gets dumber and dumber and the nuance goes. Yeah. And then these guys, they want to shape populations with propaganda. That's what I was just, when I was watching Century Itself, like that dude was, the what's his name? Edward Bernays. Was disgusting at it. Yes, he's very good so at it. Good. We live in his world. Yeah. And like people don't know it. People are like, you're dumb. I'm telling me I'm dumb. Yeah. And I'm like, how how am I this dumb? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I now I know that they don't want me to have the truth. They yeah. wanted me to be retarded. Yes. And... The whole thing is they want this – they want to create this simple world of, like, white hat, black hat. Yes. So, like, when the early Hollywood movies came out, what were they doing, dude? Cowboys and Indians. And then they were, like – so everybody signed off for that. Yeah. And then they spun that in being, like, actually, we genocided the Indians. Remember yeah. that? What the fuck was that about? <laughs> I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. They can, they can plug and play with this propaganda, and that's why when I watch shows – I get a feeling in my stomach that something's not right. Yeah. Uh, I watch The Watchmen, and I'm like, what the fuck? They throw in shit that it's just like, okay, like, why are you putting this in, like, a comic book show? Like, what difference does it make if it's, like, a strong, powerful black woman or something else? And, like, if it wasn't a big deal, why hammer on it every single second of every waking moment of the show? Yeah. If it's whatever, it's whatever. That's just what it is. But, like. 
why the fuck do you have to like make a whole like big thing about it? Doesn't why would it, why does Hollywood have to like keep making these stories? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Like to yeah. try to like manipulate a narrative? Yes. Well, Winston Churchill had a quote one time <laughs> that was the truth is so precious she should be attended by a bodyguard of lies. Me and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The thing that they did with Westworld pissed Ricky off. What was? Yeah, what and were you talking I'll about with it, Westworld? I'll read this to you. You didn't watch Westworld, so this is fucking. Other people. I stopped that the season one. Other pro- other people probably did. Hang it's on it. HBO. So the new season of Westworld, Ricky's uh, Ricky's breakdown is Dolores is the liberal white woman that thinks she knows what's best for the world. Yeah. All the characters that are in control are, are old white men. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. she's, like, breaking free of it all. And Maeve Strong. is a powerful black woman, and that is out. she's out for her best, her own best interest, but she feels like she must choose a side despite disliking each option. Yeah. And Bernard is a black dude that is of equal prowess to white men. Oh, hold on, man. Matt's calling me. Can we pause it? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, Bernard's a black man that is of equal prowess to white men, but is remade to be a pawn for the white man's agenda. And Caleb is a lost, young, hardworking white man that is vulnerable, reluctant, and more or less useless. That is the key to the advancement of humanity. This is the shit that's going on in his head while he's watching that shit. Yeah. They make this shit to piss dudes off like that. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, he's spinning watching Watchmen. Yeah, off, I you mean. You know what I mean? It's like... I get it, dude. It's cool. But it's just, that's the only thing you see. Yeah. It's it's getting shoved down your throat more and more. Like, all the new shows, it's just like, it's but like. It, it, these people don't deny that looking back in the past that they used, they used Hollywood to shape populations with propaganda. Yeah. They, that's, Bernays said that, that's like what he used. He used like celebrities to say you need to buy more shit. You need to set yourself apart from everyone else. Like, why, like in the first part I was watching, he said that like back in the day, people only gave a fuck if that shit was durable. Like, will my shoes last fucking three years? Yeah. And then he spun it on everyone like, oh, you need to be cool. It doesn't matter. I remember matter. this dude yeah. with the 12 pairs of jeans. There was yeah. only one kind of jeans. Yes. Yeah. That, that's what they do, dude. They try to make you fucking... Well, I just think that it's crazy that people will look at Disney and look at Hollywood and then look in the past and they'll, when Dumbo's all spooky and it's all uh, racist, they'll say, oh, look at them pushing things through propaganda, put, shaping, you know, populations yeah. through propaganda. They'll admit that it was done then. Yeah. But now when I'm watching Westworld, if I'm like, yo, this is propaganda, they're like, that's some scared white boy shit. <laughs> and I know that you think that you, it's not triggering me. I just hear it all the time. Yeah. It pisses me off. That's what uh, you might have said the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life that <laughs> plot against America was just the handmaiden's tale for Jews. And it 100% is. That one really pissed me off, dude. It was that so show, bad. That show combined with the 1619 Project win- winning the Pulitzer sent me over the edge. It sent me to a dark corner of the internet Yeah, that I'm getting yelled at about. Yeah. Shane, oh, well, I'll just go out and say it because I don't give a flying <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Me and Spade had some questions about the Holocaust. Ooh, oh my God, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> On their podcast, I talked about how I don't think Sandy Hook's real. But, oh, don't bring this up because you're going to get kicked off the internet for thinking that you're... You get thrown in jail in Europe, dude. Yeah. I'm just having questions. And if your defense is... Well, it's so horrible. How could you question that? Why are there fucking videos on YouTube about Project Blue Beam and then the World Trade Center was all hologram? Why is that allowed? Because that was bad and you're saying it didn't happen. But we're And it's just questions. We're not saying anyone's good. We're not saying anyone's bad. But it's just questions. And it's, oh, you can't say this or else you'll get, like, demonetized. Like, hmm? I'm in America, so I can kind of do whatever I want. I mean, the plot against America thing was hard for me to watch. I was watching it. You couldn't even believe that I was watching it. Hilarious. Yeah. I'm sitting there chilling, watching this thing, going, they're allowed to. I'm, the whole time I'm watching, I'm going, they're allowed to do this? Yeah. Like, imagine. Uh, uh, dude, I'm about to go off. <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> that you guys had the Holocaust, and it's a real shame that. You're like all CEOs and all lawyers and bankers and now. Dude, I knew you nothing. Had it real. I knew nothing of this. I was like, I would have been like, oh yeah, Schindler's List. Yeah, that's what happened. And you know, now I know there's a bunch of other 
wartime atrocities that happened. Yeah. That I didn't get taught. Yeah. In the school system. Yes. That they created. Yes. To shape population. <laughs> yes. Through propaganda. Yeah. That, I mean that. That's what I'm saying. We're I don't. Living in 70 years plus of propaganda is all I'm saying. Yeah. One day it'll come out. Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. If people want to kick us off podcasting with this, I'll go. You know what I'll do? I'll pe- I'll press D and I'll go forward in my truck. That's what I'll go back <laughs> yeah, to doing. Dude. Still doing it now. I don't care if I stop. <laughs> uh, but that's that's what that was about. We can't make fun of the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me gays. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But you know, they my son Shane he just gets upset sometimes. That's my son. <laughs> Uh, they that's why that Q shit works you mm. know what I mean that's why like people will be like oh the Q tards or the COVID idiots yeah I mean I just got I just got shit on by pandemic I thought or pandemic. I thought that was 100% that, they're real de- they're debunking that chick's credits right now and yeah. she's going on a basically a Q Whore. book tour she's going on Red Pill 78 live yeah. cast last night fuck yeah so the white hat black hat thing is what they that's how you can really yeah capitalize on people being stupid is if you say that there's good guys and bad guys like one man once said there was good people on both sides yes dude and that's the true the the nuance that's in the fairy tales so kids would have grown up with mama titty and heard all these stories yeah where both characters in the stories were kind of bad and like backstabbery and like weird witches and shit like cool moral stories that were handed down for hundreds of years obviously useful yeah. Because people remembered them. Mm. I'm just saying. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it is like, it's weird. It's weird that there's just so much shit that like, they're like, me and you aren't going to start burning crosses and like fucking do something. We're just looking into something. Next week, I'm interested in the cigarettes being extremely healthy and they're trying to keep them away from you and saying that they're bad. <laughs> just something I'm into. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to start smoking. Like, yeah, just, I mean, we're looking into shit. Yeah, right now I'm into the old fairy tales, the old folklore, and then how since the school system got put in, and it's been debunked. The school's been debunked. We spend yeah. so much money on school, I mean, these you kids can, can't even fucking read. You can, They're getting dumber every year. Yes, yeah, so you can see the mongoloids that come out of all these schools that are walking around the city. It's like, if you have a full-blown education and you're this stupid, something's fucked up. Either you're an idiot or school's fucked. Exactly. So it's like, I just think that they enjoy... I don't think it's some grand conspiracy... Yeah. That, you know, I don't think they're in the Bilderberg meeting being like, what are we going to put in the sixth grade curriculum this year? Yeah. But I do think that people capitalize on people's stupidity. Oh, yeah. And the media will do that. Media loves doing that. Media loves doing this. And they like to they like to stoke division. Because I mean, that's that goes back to Caesar, dude. Divide and conquer. bro. That, that's what I'm saying. Like with the whole uh... if you if you're on straight, if you're if a puppet is pulling you on strings, dude. It is hard. It it is hard for them. It's easy for them to control one of us. Oh yeah. But if we all woke up, dude, yeah. to this, yeah. they couldn't stop it. And then there's no fucking COVID vaccines and all this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're they're pushing that shit hard, and that like, they do the same the same tricks all the fucking time with like the dude who got shot in Georgia. Like that shit happened two months ago. And now it's come. Now LeBron James is pushing it. Now all these media things are pushing it. Like at some point, it's insulting to like black people if you keep on trying to like divide with this shit. Like, well, you, if you have racial pride, it's kind of dumb. If I yeah. sit there walking around like I'm a white man, yeah. like the white man stereotype is the powerful white dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I, what if I started acting like that? Like yeah. every time a fucking GQ guy was on, I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude, that's us." That's man. what I'm talking what about, up? baby. Like LeBron's like, "Oh, dude, they're hunting us every day. They never hunted you, dude." Yeah. The fucking NBA hunted you for sponsors, bro. <laughs> You've been a billionaire forever. You. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, like a lot of the people are out of touch and like you're literally just causing division when like you can see whatever the funny like whatever the fuck happens there. It is what it is. But like there's no reason to get into a race war over two fucking morons who try to do a citizen's arrest. And dude, I get it. If you're black and you're like sitting there going, oh, man, we are get you're getting psyched by the news. You're getting you're, bodied by the news. Yeah, but it does feel like you're like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. you know, we're getting shot. We're shooting each other. And then there's these guys that come and talk about they'll explain it all to you, dude. They're, it's called whiteness. Yeah, it's called whiteness. <laughs> hey, dude. That's fucking retarded. Yeah. And that's that Tana Hasi Coates bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that who Rogan says he gets all of his shit from? No. Who do you say in the Musk thing he gets all of his stuff from? Don't bring up the Musk thing, dude. Why? 
Oh, God. That dude is a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rogan said Matt Taibbi. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That dude's a fucking cuck. Come <laughs> at me, bro. Sitting there with Michael Moore. And white guys are the problem. White men are the problem. <laughs> Michael Moore's such a fucking slob, dude. Find your dick, dude. I've taken shits that look like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're being de- we're being demons. Stop. stop. Uh, we're just kidding around. We're goofing. It's a comedy <laughs> podcast where we goof around about edgy things. <laughs> we're just edgy. That's all we are. Watch out for us, world. Ah, for real, that 1619 project thing's bullshit. What is? I still don't understand that. So, dude, they're saying America didn't start in 1776. It started 1492. In- Columbus sailed the ocean blue, dude. Sorry, yes, it did. Debunked. Next. Okay. <laughs> what is it though, for real? So yeah, the country really started when the first black slave got shipped here. All right, why? Well, that's they're trying to say that that America was built by them. Okay. So historians are flipping out, just going like, dude, no, knock it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just like laughing at it. But it's, should we make it illegal to um, endorse the sixteen nineteen project since it goes against history? Maybe one day. People, looking back on it, people will go, oh, wow, this won a Pulitzer Prize. It must be legit. Yeah. So they give them the prizes. And all these historians that are working at colleges that are like, no, dude, stop. You're not going to remember those guys. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's like they're they're pushing an agenda. Yeah. I don't know who they are. Yes. But they are pushing an agenda. Yeah. And it's not for your benefit. No, I mean, all, all this shit is is one trillion percent division. That's what I I can't get behind any of that shit because you're just dividing everyone. They want to stoke wars, dude. Oh, yeah. I watched that fucking video, that guy. That shit fired me up and not on the fucking white team, dude. Yeah. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, they shot that dude. Yeah. I mean, so you have to be a Here's Mongoloid a bunch of fucking retards rest. driving around with shotguns. Yeah. Hey, man, maybe we don't need to be doing that. Yeah. What the fuck's in the house? What's what's that valuable? Yeah. What's more An valuable electric, than some a human electrical life? wire? Yeah. What, what's more valuable than life, bro? Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like, and then, like, you get the retards that try to like they try to defend like either dude and it's just like guys every no one's looking they're good winning in this just the yeah. fact that you're tweeting and talking yeah. about it they're winning dude the fact that king james is putting that shit out there he's literally in the worst time just causing more division and lebron james is a fucking moron he's a piece of shit retard yeah <laughs> <laughs> lebron james retard why don't we go back to going ha- we have the internet now right yeah and 5g's Supposedly going to be the shit. We're all going to be su- so super smart. Um, no oxygen. <laughs> why don't we go back to homeschooling? I mean, a lot of people are. You got mama. You have the Did internet. He? If you have an interest, your mom will help you look it up on the internet. Yeah. I mean, I would love to have that situation. If I, if I had a wife and a kid or whatever, and I wouldn't send the kid to go get brainwashed, I'd be like, yo, your mom, you got questions, dude. Your mom will show you. Yeah. You want to learn something, we'll we'll teach you stuff. Yeah, I know a guy that graduated I mean, eighth I know a lot grade. of people will probably shit themselves thinking I would teach someone. But, yeah. hey, dude. Smart ain't looks. We're out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I know a guy who graduated eighth grade, maybe, and now owns a huge demolition company, a quarry, a fucking concrete dump, all that shit. There's just a part of the world that – you, p- there's a part of life that people used to experience that they don't experience. They lock these kids away in school, dude. Yeah, and then you completely enslave them like every moron that went to college and got like some bullshit degree. It's like, because what? Because now you can say, now you can go on date intelligently instead of Tinder. Oh, what was that one you were telling me about for the school, for the good schools? It's, da- it's like date intelligently or something like that. It's like Yale height, obviously. Oh, come on, man. They're all, they're all, he's coming at you, that oh, height. He's coming at my fucking neck, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I just. Tinder wants me gone. What? Tinder wants me gone. Uh, the <laughs> the comments that are said to you on Tinder destroy my life, dude. Oh, yeah. How funny are they? It just doesn't make sense. Like, how can you, like, how can you be that shallow of a human being or you won't do it, but like just one time. So if they're like, how short are you? Like, well, how much do you weigh? I'm not that demonic, dude. But still, like, they got to understand that you can't be doing this stuff. Yeah, and I'm, I would even say you have more control over your weight than your height. I mean, it's 85 Obviously. Gs to get taller. Yeah. That's a lot of money. You can just go keto and get shredded. <laughs> yeah. I got to get shredded, dude, for the babies. I, I mean, gyms obviously have to open back up. I know, that man. shit. If, if you give me my planet, I, I promise, dude, I'll give you the body of a demigod. I'm trying to program like that dude, Derek. That He's is Derek. Your boy. Oh, Derek, yeah, he programs hard as shit, yeah. 
I think people should know about the man, dude. Nah, I'm not going to besmirch his name. Maybe one day, dude. He's Derek's an animal. Beast. Derek's a beast. That's what yeah. I'm saying. The, the dude who programs like that, if you wake up every morning and just destroy a gym before work, you're already ahead of the curve. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a boxer, so. Yeah, that's some of the best shit of all time. Yeah. What? We just have to be good little boys and have a good old podcast where we talk about something cool. <laughs> yeah, we goof on the bits. Yeah, pandemic being fake has fucked me up royally. All this shit, it just seems like they're just Oh, hammering. the movie's not totally fake, but the chick is fake. So if yeah. you're going to base the movie on a girl that is falsifying some claims. Oh, that was only the trailer too, right? What's that? That was only the trailer. That's just the trailer, but like, you know, it's a cool... Don't get me wrong, it's cool, man. Yeah. You know, I, lo- I like watching that stuff, but... She is a little fishy, especially if they're raising questions and then she's going on live casts to promote a book. It's like, yeah, bro. that that is the fucked up part with all the Q shit. Like all like the dudes are. I just want to be a free country. And then it's like, also, you need a VPN in this time. Like, it's like, dude. Yeah. Well, you you can't blame them because they went to school Yeah, and they're they're sitting here. You know, you couldn't have got away with this before. Everyone knew there was more to the story than white hat, black hat. Yeah. But even back in the 30s when they were showing Cowboys and Indians and silent movies and all that stuff, everyone knew that's just entertainment. Yeah. A hundred years later, dude, these people don't know it's entertainment anymore. They're not smart enough to see what's right and wrong in a video. Well, they they did it in Plot Against America saying that dude's like a fucking horrible Nazi. No, that's a book. I mean, that's a fantasy book. But I'm saying people don't know that. People watch that. That's what I'm trying to say is like, why are they why are they doing this? Yeah. What possesses you to do this? And you really can't do it in another, you know, you can't really, like, take that and say, oh, well, they were allowed to do it. Can I make one maybe with black people? (laughs) No, dude, you're not allowed to do that. You're fucking violently racist. Yeah. I mean, all all this shit, like, the the fucking pushing a narrative and stuff, like, it's kind of blown up in their face. Like, when you look at, like, the Joe Biden rape thing and stuff, like, now all their games are, like, literally. Uh, I had a hard time watching that Bill Maher clip. I don't what? know if you saw that. What did he say? He was like, oh, man, it's What wild. did the owner of Kid Love Productions say? He <laughs> was saying, like, she's fake, and he can't believe that people even are listening to her and stuff. Really? It's pretty tough to watch, actually. We should believe, it, <laughs> believe all victims, though. No, not not. Well, Bill doesn't like this one. Like all their shit is one hundred percent being used on them right now. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. It's like everyone's this dumb. Yeah. Like not. There's no one innocent. We're all this dumb. Yeah. Oh, even the people that think they're smart. Yes. Obviously. They are dumb. We we got dumbed down. They dumbed us down. They won. And the school system. We got. Oh, sorry, that. man. That's so, every every time, dude. You gotta stop doing <laughs> that. Yeah, it, I can't. I literally like. I th- I just been hitting music for the past few days because I can't fucking oh, deal. Uh, with yeah, it. I've been watching um those videos where they find dogs that like are eating leaves and shit to survive, and they rescue them and they give them you back. My to YouTube health. hole. Uh, that's what I'm watching. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, there's some YouTube shit where if you want to turn your fucking brain off and drool, you can do it. <laughs> watching abandoned video, abandoned houses, dude. It's fucking interesting. I watch dogs get rescued. And then, yeah. like, a couple months later, they're playing, like, happy music the whole time. They're running around. <laughs> you want a puppy? Sick. Nah, dude, nah. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I, get so, I was in such a tizzy this week. <laughs> my my son just hating on us. I, you know, it's just weird. It's, like, it's all propaganda when you're talking about how, oh, yeah, obviously school is invented to... Turn us into factory workers. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that's what it was for. Yeah, it's yeah. like, so I'll be like, okay, yeah. So there's all this propaganda, man, and there's all this. Um, I don't know. All this is propaganda too, yeah. and all this is propaganda. Even the feminists smoking cigarettes and all this stuff. And then it's like, did you? They talked about that in Century itself, and like, what is good with them always talking about penises and shit? Like, oh, that's a sign of a penis. Oh, that's and, Freud. Yeah, that's just weird, dude. That's just some weird psychology shit. Chill with that. Like, Freud always on some goofy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I think I think it was Freud that said the Irish are impervious to psychology. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, that's what in in that they were talking about, how like they just psyoped all those chicks in the smoking cigs, and like the dude later on was like, oh, you know, that was actually penises, and everyone like flipped out. <laughs> I just love how it's all, it, everyone can sit there and nod their head like, propaganda propaganda yeah. and then certain things oh no dude that definitely happened <laughs> yeah i know that for a fact 
that's what like you you fucking trip over your own toes because you either go down the route of everything's bullshit, nothing's real except that, or fucking I know everything, you know nothing. And just like anything else, like in the fairy tales, there's not good guys and bad guys. It's all gray area stuff. Yeah, like everything hen- is gray. And like right now, we live in black hat, white hat. And yeah. every fucking show on HBO has some like propaganda push. And it's on that simple level. Yeah. It's all dumbed down. Yeah. And like things that are more attractive that go back to like myths and archetypes and all that shit, like Star Wars and stuff. Yeah. Like, Darth Vader is a bad dude, but he's Luke's dad. So you're fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like anything that has an ounce of gray or nuance, people are attracted to. It'll be like a bestseller. Yeah. But they don't want bestsellers, dude. They want you to watch it. Forget about it. And you're they're literally washing your brain, dude. I mean, look what they did with fucking Game of Thrones. That was the shit. And then those other fucking assholes started doing it from Star Wars. And it was a dumpster fire. Yeah, well, they're just dumb. I mean, at, we're all so dumb. Think yeah. about how smart we could be if we if it went from the fairy tales to and we had technology now. We never had this hundred and twenty years of brainwashing from yeah. the education system. They talk we about don't it. need the education system, dude. No, that's they talk about it openly in um, Century of Self, saying that like all this shit has just been 100% pushed on us to make us fucking dumb. Yeah, dude, like, I know it's a lot of work. And people will be like, holy shit, this is wild. Like, you can't you can't um, uh, tell parents they have to teach their kids everything. Yeah. Because they're used to having the state step in and do it for them. Yeah, public but, school's hell. But in reality, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, you, you know, if you had a dumb mom, I guess you end up dumb, but... I don't understand why we all have to be dumb. Yeah. No teacher is going to give the amount of time necessary to a kid to actually give them the education. A they single need. kid. Yeah. You got like in the public schools, you got like 35 kids in a classroom. Yeah. So the schools are fucked. The literacy rates go down and down, even though we're spending more and more money. Yeah. And you said they lie, like half the schools, like in fucked up areas, just lie about literacy, literacy rates. Yeah. They have to, or they won't get any fucking, they'll get in trouble. Yeah. They got to start having winners. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm telling you, man. The if we could now that we have the internet, let's just look at this as like an ugly past of education. Yeah, we can go forward with like this. We can we have to get back to figuring out what the truth is and then teaching the kids. Yeah, and if they grow up and they just kind of like form their own minds based on their own interests, they'll be smarter. Oh yeah, you know, like a- this whole thing of grading kids. This is what's fucked up about the bell curve, dude. This is the shit where people don't want to hear, oh, man, um, IQs, white dudes have higher IQs. Yeah. And then the argument is like, yeah, but they're making the test for white dudes. It's like the test is for creating factory workers, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like they're trying to – like it's not – our the way that we look at intelligence, dude, is wrong. Just how good you are at memorizing and shit. And the thing with the bell curve, the dude is saying we got to look at society – and what we're doing with it. Yeah. Not the IQ numbers. Yeah. We're not saying anyone's dumb. It's just, yeah, they're testing dumber on these tests. Yeah. Why do we build our world around this shit if obviously they're not dumb? Yeah. Obviously, they're everyone's equal. Yeah. And it's like you're not letting people's geniuses like. If you're, if you're you telling know? someone like, especially in like the black community, if you're like saying, oh, these people are bad, like half of them don't have fucking parents. Or like a, like any sort of structure at home. So when they come in and take a test, they're not trying to remember it. They're gonna fucking do horrible. Yeah, on that the destruction shit. of the family thing in the state and the state the stepping in state is and all bad. That stuff. That's all horrible shit. Yeah. But just I'm saying like these guys that decided to create the education system were pushing for a utopia. They were pushing for a utopia where like everybody had you know because it was the dawn of the industrial yeah. age. So everyone's gonna have stuff. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, this is crazy. We're all gonna be so loaded. And it's like, yeah, well, we'll just send the kids to school so we can make more factory workers because they couldn't make robots yet. Yeah. Now we're going to have AI, so we don't need that. We have the Internet. We could, like, literally pick up where we left off back in the 1800s with education. Yeah. It is kind of weird how we're all this dumb. Yeah, I mean, I used to get... You can barely sh- say sentences, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to get shit on because I would argue with people in college, like, what the fuck, like, what point is it? to have electives like why do i have to take a two thousand dollar elective on yoga 
because it's I have to fill my electives. Like that makes no sense. I don't know about college, but yeah, like know. you have like you have to do like your general education. Why not just streamline it to what the fuck you're gonna do and anything else you're interested in, you're gonna be interested in. Like the book that I'm reading, the elites instill like the whole discover the whole thing of education is discovery of yourself to really know yourself and. They teach their kids how to have horses jump over, like yeah. ten foot ponds and stuff. Yeah. Now, if you're a kid and you do, you pull that off. Think of the fucking confidence. You're pumped. You know what I mean? Or just the confidence of like I can control an animal. Yeah. I taught that. Like you, you're in another paradigm, dude. Than oh, yeah. somebody sitting and waiting for the bell to go off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're not meant to, we should all be learning like the elites now that the internet's available. Yeah. We don't, we shouldn't be giving the government all this money for fucking schools. Yeah. And you know half I mean? of it is just gets fucking thrown away anyway. Yeah. It's a racket. You're exposing them right now. dude. I'm just saying like I got in, this all started because I stopped watching the videos I was watching <laughs> and now I'm into the fairy tales. All this stems from the fairy tales. Yeah. That's fucking wild. I started checking out the fairy tales. I'm going, how these are wild, dude. And then by the time you get to the Disney movies that are based on them, you're like, wow, this, this is, is mentally retarded. They dumbed <laughs> it down for like a little kid. Yeah. And it's like little kids were hearing these real complex tales. Yeah. But say they weren't, um, they wouldn't have been able to absorb all of the nuance. Yeah. They were still hearing it. Yeah. So as they get older, these tales unlock more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's more to them. So, like, that's why you hold on to them. Eventually, like, you're not going to remember half of the bullshit that they're teaching now. Like, no. right now, like, they are literally brainwashed. They're just hitting you with little they agendas have... and the shit. You don't remember what, yo, you watched uh, episode, season one of whatever show. You forgot it already. Yeah. It's not that I cool. don't. I couldn't name you ten people in Game of Thrones. I watched the whole thing. It could, it's not that. It's not as powerful as like these things that got handed down. Yeah. And you could say, oh, dude, they had nothing else. And it's like, but they had nothing else, and this is what they created. Yeah. So it was worthwhile for a couple hundred years. Show me stories that last a couple hundred years. Pretty wild. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I was. I was just looking on the internet for something, and like there was, I think it was on Facebook. It was. Uh, a live sign in for drag queen story time. Like that shit is so unnecessary, dude. Yeah, it is. Like you know, if that's what you're doing in schools, I'm not putting my kid in school. I was trying to stay away from the fucking pedo shit this week. Why? But you suck me back in. Dude, no homo. <laughs> but the fucking the drag queen story time, like if you want to fucking I go just to, wanted to talk about normie stuff. Yeah, man. if you want to go to <laughs> Barley Brenda's, whatever the fuck the place is called. Go there and watch a drag. It's an adult thing. Cool. If you want to watch an R-rated movie when you're adult, do your thing. There's no. Re I'm not like taping kids' eyes open and making them watch like The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Like that's for adults. Whether or not you think it's right or wrong, whatever. But it's not for kids. I don't understand the Desmond and the dollars, dude. I what do you don't mean? understand it. Have you ever seen the video? Of him with the fucking murderers? No, Desmond dancing and getting the money from the Oh, gun. yeah, I've seen it a million times. How is that cool? Like, if you're like, hey, like, I know, statistically speaking, mo a lot of, like, we're, we represent more pedophiles than straight people. Like, best way to try to fight that? I don't that, understand what you're just trying to say. Like, in the, like, when they're doing the breakdown of stats. Stats, yeah. People who are get like, the... In pedof there's more gay people who are pedophiles and straight Wait, allegedly. What are you saying? Dude, dude? <laughs> chill. This is this is just what I'm looking at. But like if you're like, we're not about that, we're just like we do our thing, don't have Desmond the Amazing stripping on a stage for adults. I don't see how this is like a yeah win situation. It's bizarre. I don't get it. I don't understand the Pride Parade or any of that stuff. That's supposedly that's like a culture that we don't understand as heteros. Yeah. As cis heads. I, I, if you want to have a fucking parade, do it. But I'm like, not with it. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. yeah that's but don't the, show it to kids. Let kids chill. Stay, they can stay home. Hey, man. The Bolsheviks did this before, dude. It did not turn out well. Yeah. That, they got to chill. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. They got to fucking chill with this. If you're, if you're pumped on being gay, like, do you. But how does that correlate with shaking a dick in a kid's face at a parade? I'm not with that, man. That's bizarre. I'm not with that. I'm not with the parents to take their kids to this shit. 
Yeah, and they, they like, push. That's what I'm saying. They, like, my dad wasn't constantly like, you need to get pussy. Get pussy, you kindergartner. <laughs> Are you a loser? You got to get pussy today. My dad never, never like, had some girl come to me and, like, shove her pussy in my face. I like, mean, don't you love never, it? I was shocked when my mom died my dad got a girl right away. I was like, this dude likes chicks this much? <laughs> <laughs> We never talk to this. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, And they're like, it's good. It makes you well-rounded. It's like, hey, I think I started veering off the path when I watched Pleasure Point on Cinemax in second grade. I don't oh, think that did too many good things for the little boy. Dude, I saw this movie Body Double, and it was like just one second of boob, dude. And every week, it was on like one of them channels, like Cinemax or something. Yeah. Every week, I went, I opened the Enquirer to find what time it was going to be back on. Yeah. And I would like... M- I'm plotting on Thursday at 9.30, like, for a whole week. Like, oh, dude, I'm going to see that titty again. And I had this, like, little spank bank reel of all the times I had seen a boob. Yeah. And, like, I would close my eyes and, like, think of all the times. Like, I could remember. Like, I remember being little and being like, I'm going to remember every time I see a boob. Like, I was going to be able to do – like, when I was a kid, I thought I was going to be able to pull that off. Oh, yeah. And at some point, I just – I couldn't keep them all in. Too I had too many, many, too many titties in my face. Yeah, that's <laughs> I remember vividly. Second grade, I was at my cousin Chris's house. My uncle and aunt made us ice cream sundaes. They went upstairs. It was right around the time TLC song Jumpin' Jumpin' was on. And, like, we were watching the – I think it was a box at that time maybe. Like, just pumped on that. And then Chris was like, yo, check this out. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And, like, it was just, like, weird, hazy kind of film. Like, you couldn't really, like – it was like, why does this look different than all the other like shows I watch? And then I remember it vividly. The girl takes her shirt off, and it's a cheetah bra, dude. Ooh, and then she started, animal print. Yeah. <laughs> and then this, mind you, this Bill is exotic. This is before I still didn't know that girls had pussies. So they just started having sex, and I was just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know you what, were, like, dude? imagining gay stuff, yeah, and you didn't even know it? gay stuff. I had no idea. And I was just like, dude, this is fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> but that definitely fucked me up, and I did not need to see that. No, yeah. I would have been I good mean... if you pushed me back a few years. And then there was just, like, I would sleep over at my cousin Pat's house, and I'm a little younger than you, so I, they had TV Guide on the Channel 64 on the fucking TV, and I just sit there and watch and be like, all right, Channel 20, yeah, Channel yeah, 20, exactly, Channel 20, exactly, Channel 20. Dude. Fuck, I just missed it. Channel 20, <laughs> Channel 20. I got the block at 12 to 12.30. That's Taxi Cab Confessions TVMA. I might watch that. Maybe there'll be titties in that. No, that's not it. Okay. What's it? Wait, real sex? Done. Oh, yeah. I would stay up. Eyes bleeding until 3.30 in the morning. I'd be watching the sun coming up. This is before I even knew how to jerk off. Boner pressed into the fucking mattress. Just like, yes, 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 yes. Return button. I'd be on... What the fuck? It was it was Nickelodeon like that was Nick at Night shit like French Prince of Bel Air return right on to Channel Twenty. Cinemax was sixteen. Uh, HBO Channel was, Channel was a solid move. Just return. I had to do Channel Return and then change your, change another Channel Return real quick because one time I got busted. <laughs> oh, it was so bad, was man. Down the my mom <laughs> my mom grabbed the remote and hit Channel <laughs> Return, dude, <laughs> and it was not pretty. What was it? It was scrambled porn Ooh. channel, but it, the sound was cranked. You so. you listen to the sound up. I still listen to porn on like no one. no like I was like what I was like what's up and my mom was like what are you watching and how old were you probably like fifteen oh my and god and she grabbed the remote and hit the thing and it was just like full on like sex sounds like uh, uh, uh. And she's like what is this what is this channel did you, did you try to play it off no I just was like I was in trouble I mean. <laughs> I was crab swirling, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, before Matt, the reason I started fucking with internet porn, Matt has ruined us. Matt showed you Reddit, and Matt showed me how to delete history. Because oh, yeah. I wigged out in fifth grade because I typed fifth grade porn on Google search because I was trying to see some people my age, dude. I was trying to get into action. You're not the only one, dude. <laughs> I was like, Matt, There's been a lot of child porn searches on a lot of dad's computers like, out there. Please, you got to help me. He showed me internet options, history, delete. Ever since then, dude, it's over. Oh, man. Good times, good times. But, yeah, you don't need the pride parade. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, I mean, now everything's fucked because once iPod Touches came out, dude, my God. iPod Touches, what do you mean? 
iPod Touch. My buddy Ray got an iPod Touch. Oh, you could put porn on him? It had the internet. It had Wi-Fi. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, cool. He did that, and I was fucking heated because I was it's like, like yeah. pre-iPhone, you're saying? This is probably right around the same time. Yeah. So the Touch comes out, and you had a YouTube app, and you had a Safari. Okay. It's like, yo, Ray, can I see that real quick? <laughs> UJIS immediately. That was in my UJIS phase. Came up, and none of the videos were. says, fuck, you need real-time player, dude. How can we get real-time players on these? The homies at Apple hooked it up on the next update, and you got real-time player. <laughs> But then it was just 15 second clips. Right, right. You had to get on the big boy computer if you wanted to go crazy. Yeah, well, I don't think we should live in a puritanical society, but no. we could tone it down a bit. You know? Yeah, just everyone. With the dancing and the pride parade and all that stuff. Leave your excess yeah. porn in the woods, let someone find it. Like the good, like the old, good days. old days, dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's no need for. There's no need for this, the weird agenda pushing stuff, and it is mind control. It is propaganda. I know people think I'm nuts. Yeah, that that's it's. it's Why else are they doing it? Because it doesn't make that much money. The percentage of the population that has an interest in this stuff is small. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Like small. they could have made way more money on the last Star Wars if they just didn't like do that weird shit, and they just oh yeah they ruined Star Wars. Everybody like, it's oh, I'm sorry that you took it. it. We took it away from you, nerds. And it's like, dude, they're harmless. Yeah, have fun with the school shooting that happens in three years. Exactly. <laughs> and dude, that's another thing that the guy in the book goes into is like, when the school doesn't work and the kids can't read and shit and they're depressed because they're getting graded. Yeah, dude, so it's I like, know. That's I not, was there. I had a one <laughs> seven GPA freshman year. <laughs> that's not good for the kids. And it's like, then they get put on medication. Yeah. And it's like they ha they give them these tests that they it says on the test, like, don't show your parents this test. And like some parents got a hold of it because obviously kids are retarded. Yeah. And they're like, what are you guys doing our kid? It's like a psychological test. The fuck? So they, they ask him, like, how do you feel about X, Y and Z? And it's yeah. like a weird psych exam. And if you don't do good on it, they want to send you without parent parental permission to the guidance counselor for to what? the school counselor. Then the school counselor will say this person should be on medication, and if you leave it and if you don't have a strong parent situation, you leave your child to as a ward of the state basically. Yeah. And they're going to start pumping these kids full of medication. Oh yeah. And this I... is just more of the reason that everyone's so dumb, you know. And if yeah. you really want to fight people like me, thinking that certain things happened or did not happen, <laughs> you got to get us all, all smarter. We're yeah. not up there yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's I remember like. I, I'm not bragging, but I was in Catholic school my whole life. No big deal. But fucking, I remember like... It's kind of a humble brag. What? It's kind of a humble yeah, brag. Whatever. <laughs> but I remember like we like when we had sports, like the public school kids would come over because Garner Valley's trash and fucking everything. St. Thomas was really good. So they would come over and be like, oh, yeah, this kid fell asleep. This is like seventh grade. This kid fell asleep in school and had a good drug tested. I was like, what? So you, you get drug tested if you fall asleep in school? And, like, they all they want to do in the public schools is just fucking inoculate all those fucking kids and give them medicines and tell them what's wrong with them. Yeah, I have some cool screenshots um, from, like, this one video I was watching where they say, like, they say similar shit to this. Yeah, I mean. Well, here's one from John D. Rockefeller. I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. That's totally believable yeah. that he said this. So, Man ran a huge company. <laughs> Many enterprises. The family is one of the main obstacles to the improved. What's it say? Improved. Uh, I don't know. That's a bad. That's a bad screenshot. Schools. Uh, this is brutal, man. What happened? It's like really hard to read. Uh, hold on one sec. We'll go over it in the page.